Please do not listen to the rapture date setters. A primary example is FiveDoves.com and the man behind that website, John Ting. All the multitudes on YouTube who joined the bandwagon of the false watchmen predicting on almost every major holiday the rapture is gonna come to pass. Latest prediction promoted on FiveDoves.com is December 25th. This Christmas, they keep changing the date. When it doesn't come to pass, nobody does anything about it. There's no repentance. These guys go by anything. The pagan holidays like Christmas, the Jewish holy days, or the Mayan calendar. What did Yahushua, HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Son of God say? In Luke chapter 17 verse 23. If they say unto you, see here, see there, don't follow them, don't go after them. In Matthew chapter 24 alone, Yahushua warned several times that many will come to deceive many and that we should not believe or follow their instructions. He said even the elect would be deceived if possible. Five does John Ting deceives the people. He basically tells them that the Bible commands us to attempt rapture day predictions. And he himself uses numerology for such purposes. And just to give you an example. He sees a certain number on a license plate in a secular movie and he uses that number for all kinds of calculations that he comes up with to guarantee the people that he knows who the Antichrist is. And he uses these kind of things which he basically calls prophetic clues and riddles that God gives him to basically be able to figure out the date of the rapture. And he encourages people to do the very same thing and he posts people's prediction publicly on the 5 website in the letters that people write to that uh, website. So even though every single one of their prediction fails miserably, they are proud of this prophesying falsely. Here I'm showing you an example of endless calculations by this man to predict the rapture over and over and over again. And five doves have been doing this for years now. This month. Oh no, that month. Oh no, this day. Well, did it come to pass? It must be tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. It must be a feast day. Hanukkah, Christmas, nothing come to pass. John Ting, in an article of 2006, for goodness sake, said it had been already nine years since he first published his first rapture date prediction. You can add six more years, 2012 now, this man has been doing this for 15 years, crushing people's faith by building them, up, building them up for a rapture that didn't come. Being responsible of false conversions that were based on a lie because people converted because they wanted to be part of the rapture. Faith crush, they fall away, seven times worse, worse off, they don't believe anything anymore. And this John Ting is proud of this stuff. And he calls himself a watchman because of this, that he has been doing this, and he makes excuses. Now last year the so-called salvation movement, which regularly has a name change and we think it should be called the damnation movement, they guaranteed the people that the rapture would be by the end of 2011. They guaranteed the people this stuff. And when that didn't come to pass, they were setting new dates for 2012, and obviously that didn't come to pass either. And they are proud of this stuff, just like 5 Okay, These kind of groups, they like to call themselves watchers or watchmen on the wall. Yes, we are to be watchmen on the wall, but what is the true job of a watchman? It is to sound the trumpet and warn of the coming judgment. To convict people of their sins, to call for their repentance and lead them to the saving grace of Yahushua HaMashiach. That's where their faith walk starts, where they learn to walk in obedience to God's Ten Commandments and live a life of holiness, praying every day to be counted worthy, to become worthy, to escape the things that are to come to pass and to be in that rapture, okay? This is the only job of a watchman is to warn the people, okay? Nowhere does it say in the Bible that we have to predict the time of escape from judgment where there is not even repentance or holiness. This is the opposite of a watchman or what a watchman is, is called to do. Please read the book of Ezekiel chapter 33. These date setters create false conversions based on a lie. 
because they get people to quote unquote convert and say a salvation prayer. They say, call upon Jesus because they want to be part of a rapture that the date setters are guaranteeing them because God told them so. How are these quote unquote converts going to trust or believe God for anything else when this stuff doesn't come to pass? Okay, they say that salvation prayer because they want to be part of, the, of a rapture, not because they truly love Jesus and want to obey His commandments and turn away from sin and change their lifestyles and be tested in fiery trials and tribulations. How many will actually have faith when Yahushua comes? The book of Luke chapter 18 verse 8 said, When the Son of Yah comes, will He find faith on the earth? Because, because of people like these false rapture date setters, people's faith is being destroyed and they are proud of this stuff. They praise themselves and one another for doing so. John Ting, Five Doves.com, Salvation Movement, and all the others on YouTube that are doing this kind of stuff. They're saying, call upon Jesus. Later on, the false converts, converts, they fall away. They go back into sin. They don't believe anything anymore. They destroy it. They are seven times worse off. And the blood is on your hands. All of you that are doing this. John Ting, Five Doves. Salvation Movement, all the people that refuse to repent, all the people that are watching this stuff going on and you don't do anything, the blood of the people is on your hands. How many just converted for a false rapture date? The false date setters, they build people up, it doesn't come to pass, and even if the date of the rapture was known, only those truly living holy would go. Not those who temporarily have a form of godliness, but no godliness within. You can't expect to live holy for a week or two and be raptured if it's not your true lifestyle. It is like the parable of the sower. The birds who steal the seed from the path represent these rapture date setters. In Matthew chapter 13, Yeshua said of this, When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. And then there are those who do truly accept Yahushua, but are set up to backslide or fall away. Yahushua said, The one who received the seed that fell on rocky places is the man who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since he has no root, he lasts only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, he quickly falls away. Or you could say, when the false rapture day comes and goes, he quickly falls away. We in the Mighty Wind Ministry warn the people again. Those of you, especially calling yourself Christians, calling yourself watchmen, all those of you that are watching this kind of stuff going on, on the internet, on Five Doves, on YouTube, and you're not doing anything, you're not doing anything to rebuke these false prophets or to warn the people for these false prophets. The blood of the false converts that fall away will be on your hands. We are to be true watchmen on the wall and the job of a watchman is to convict or to allow the Holy Spirit through us to convict the people of sin, righteousness and judgment to lead them towards repentance and in a loving, obedient, repentant relationship with Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, keeping His Ten Commandments, learning to live holy. Will you help us to warn the people? Will you help us to rebuke these false prophets and to kick them out of the sheep pen? for devouring or trying to devour Yeshua sheep and lambs because God's judgment is upon these activities and upon these people and all of those standing by, sitting on the fence, not doing anything, God will knock you off of that fence. I urge you, help this ministry any way you can to get these truths out. At least favorite this video, at least leave a comment, mirror this video, whatever. Help us get this truth out. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, that all the sheep and lambs and the baby converts who are having their faith crushed by these wolves in sheep's clothing that take the word and the promises of God and the mercy and grace of God so lightly that they just falsely prophesy and say, oh well, I'm a watcher. What are you going to do? Maybe next time I'll get it right. These people have no wisdom, no fear of God, and I bet you the most of them are satanic infiltrators. God's judgment is upon them. We pray they repent, but if not, 
that they will perish. In the name of Yahushua, this was Yah's servant, 777, over and out. Please visit AmightyWind.com and AlmightyWind.com and study the prophetic words that were given by God to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah.